Our comments flooded onto the NBC Action News website and our Facebook page today, some knocking the 19-year-old for crying wolf. Beth Vaughn has more on the public backlash since Aisha was found last night. Beth? Yeah, Mark, among the messages of love and support for 19-year-old Aisha Khan and her family were comments filled with anger. Some people demand Khan publicly apologize for putting her family, police, and the public through a six-day search. Others want her family to be responsible for any cost associated with the search and investigation. But Overland Park police told me today no one will be held financially responsible. That's because Aisha Khan didn't make false reports to the police. Instead, it was the KU Edwards campus that initially made the phone call, the 911 call, about a possible missing person. Police say the campus was acting in good faith. Former FBI agent, special agent Jeff Lanza says making the family pay would only discourage others from reporting potential missing people. He helps Khan's story doesn't take away from future investigations. In the future, if something like this occurs, it's the old matter of crying wolf, and now people are going to pay less attention, and it's likely maybe someone who's really kidnapped, who's really in trouble, may not get the help they deserve, you know, from the public, because they think it might be a hoax. Mm. Tonight at 6, hear from a woman who is no stranger to searching for strangers. A 28-year-old who lent a hand in the con investigation speaks out. That's tonight at 6. Beth Vaughn, NBC Action News.